Hello there everyone, this is iMark3 and welcome back to the giant Stompy Stompy Robot Simulator, by which I mean of course, MechWoy Online. What's this? Is that a trash can? Didn't we have that very recently? Oh, well, yes, yes we did. Um, this is a video not following any particular request, this is just like, um, for the funds. So. The R68, which I featured a few videos ago, is back again, but this time it is in my preferred configuration. The one that I put together for it and use it for. And the one I never um, de 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 derived. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong use of the word. The one I never strayed from until I was reminded that, hey, it's got middle hard points, so you can fit LRMs onto this thing. So. This mech is a bit weaker on the laser side, but it is a bit stronger on the missile side, and I do enjoy this build quite a bit. So, here we go. An old favourite. This R68 runs on light ferrofibrous, double heat sinks, and endo seal structure. It doesn't care about the missile guidance pick package because of its weapon, so ignore that. It's got the same XL180 engine for a 104.5 dot speed, and the three extra heat sinks required, double heat sinks to manage heat load a bit better. Back at Weaponry is a trio of ER Smalls, which I know will turn some people off because it's like, um, Smalls, sometimes they're kind of looked down on, and yeah, they aren't exactly the most impactful energy weapons, that, but three of them is okay, and they are a backup. I mean, three of them, this is like, um, a bit more raw damage than an AC-10 firing per shot. So yeah, it's, um, it's like 11, nearly 12 points of damage between these three, so it's not too bad, honestly. And it's very light and very cheap. And that's because most of the weight in this thing is tied up by an MRM-40. So, pull the trigger. Send 40 missiles flying down range at the target. <laughs> and let's try and keep that in decent supply, we've got two tons of ammo. But because of the uh, mech's quirks, that's more than doubled, so we basically have like, what? Four and a bit, I, I want to say about 4.2, 4.3 tons of ammo for this, so, you know, decent supply. It fires missiles quickly, but it has got a lot. And the MRM is great for saturation damage, like, you know, lots and lots of damage all over the place. It's just not very good at penetrating damage, like um, the heavy ACs you normally see on an urban mech. So, MRM-40, that's my build. It's pretty simple. If you like MRMs, I would highly recommend this build, honestly. If you like MRMs and Durban mechs, definitely give this a whirl. Because this thing can dish out a lot of damage in a hurry, and it's fast enough to get to where it needs to be. But anyway, that's my build. There are others like it, there are variants of it, but this one is mine. Don't worry, we'll talk a bit more on things like that as we go. So, anyway, let's go, match number one. Come on, Irby. It's time to create some havoc. Hmm. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems normal. This is command. Eliminate all enemies, no matter the cost. Affirmative. Okay, here we go. Match number one. Vitrick Station. Game mode is skirmish. And with this Irby, I like to stick with the uh, the moving brick. So, figure out where the assaults are going. Looks like they're going upwards. I'll hang around with them rather than going charging out. Because surely Irby is... Oh, he's having a look at me. I am. Hello. <laughs> oh, the King Crab was checking out his little escort. But yeah, it's like um, the Irby is fine. It's fast. But this map is a slightly hard one for me with this build because it's like I can't go up top where I normally go on this because I don't have ranged weaponry. So I'm going to stick with my allies and provide fire support while they absorb damage. So that's kind of my stick with this one. Lasers, massive rocket launcher. We're all good. I just have to be careful. <laughs> because if I get prioritized, I am in for a bit of a bad time. Target spotted. <laughs> Affirmative. Okay. Um, we'll talk though. Last video, the um, heavy gorse in a hunchback. 
I nailed the build on paper, I think, for getting a heavy gorse in decent condition to the front lines, because, you know, Hunchback's pretty flexible for that. But I wasn't happy with the, how things went. Happy A for the one who requested in the first place. Wasn't too happy with it either. And that is actually in range. I delayed firing slightly to double check my range there because, you know, it's been a while since I played this mech. And unfortunately that turned out to be enough. New target okay. acquired. Target spotted. Oh. There's other things on the move as well. Target spotted. New target acquired. Target spotted. Target New spotted. Target Why is there acquired. an enemy assault over there? Of all things. Target spotted. Spotted. I'm just being annoying. Okay, there's something nearby. I think it's above Target me. Spotted. Yeah, I think it's that Hellbringer. I still want to keep calling that Loki from its original name. Yep, he knew I was there, so it is time for me to move because he did try to return fire on me. Target spotted. <laughs> I feel kind of mean. But I like this guy. It's so small. It's so fun. But yeah, Hunchback, um, nobody happy with that Heavy Gorse video. So, I plan to redo that one. But I do need to get a better grip on the Heavy Gorse. New target Hi! Acquired. <laughs> I think I got his attention. <laughs> ah, an ally stepped in. Stopped that. Okay. So yeah, the Heavy Gorse will come back. I just need to get a better grip, so I'll play some matches with it, try and figure it out a bit more. Target destroyed. And we'll see how we go with that one. I might try the, the Fafnir double. I won't do the Bane double that uh, Baradul did three weeks ago, because I don't have a Bane. That's a legendary mech after all. No, nothing here. Okay. We're experiencing some losses. Don't here we are. The, what, are you, what are you? Target's you are hunched back. Oh, I need to pick on one of my favourites. Oh well. There are some enemies running around out there, though, which I'm not quite happy about. Ah, oh, bit too late. Nope. Let's try with those SOMs, buddy. But no, I'm not going to sit around and let you do that. Spotted. <laughs> you can tell I'm focused. It's like I go, I get quiet. I am Mark Three gets quiet. What madness is this? No, it does happen. New target acquired. Ooh, target destroyed. Out of place. Target spotted. Uh, the enemies acquired. are half depleted. Keep pushing. Let's move over there. I am fleet of foot, relatively, so I can try and catch up. But, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll try the double Fafnir. Maybe I'll try another one. Maybe I'll try the Cataphract, I was originally thinking, but that would be slower. Which would be the problem. Oh, it's you again. Hi. Just spray fire in its general direction. Some connected. Target destroyed. Hey. Got it. And uh, speaking of, there's a Fafnir actually. It's a shame. I actually got the Fafnir pack back when it first came out because it's like, ooh, big beefy hundred ton assault mech. Yes, please. And then it's uh, not used it overly much, I don't think. Hi. Nope. Sorry. Too not too small for you. I'm just being a little pain in the butt. Just like, ha. Come here. Hope he's dropping down. Okay. Fine, if you want to do that. Oh, you're dead. Dang it. I want to take more pot shots at you. <laughs> I feel mean when I'm in this mech sometimes. I really do. Of 
got some hits. Got to admit, lights aren't my favourite one. In this mech, I do like to go after more substantial targets because more of the missiles are going to hit. King Crab. We're just going to run this guy down. Right. Okay, anyway. For the cataphract, though, my issue is that it's high. Got it. No more <laughs> Good job, okay. My issue with the cataphract is a bit heavy, I think. But, yeah, I'll practice. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. 614 dealt for my little Irby. Not too shabby. That's the other thing I like about the M MRMs. They are great for dishing out a lot of damage. It's finishing stuff off, off that they can um, kind of get to a bit of trouble with. Solo kill? Which one was the solo? Of course, it's. I've only got the one solo kill, so that means I did most of the damage to that Crusader. It just kept eating my missiles. <laughs> okay, anyway. Roll and mash number two. Oh, this is a great start. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems normal. This is command. Eliminate all enemies, no matter the cost. Mash number two, here we go. Victrix Station once again. Oops, hello. Crusader. And the game mode is once again skirmish. So actually this is the same exact match setup twice in a row. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen. There's a mad dog also checking out our moving allies. Fafnir. I thought it might be the Fafnir I was with previously, but it's like, no. With shooting at previously, but different colour. But uh, yeah, same same deal. So moving on. Um, I do have some other requests, like, um, well, actually, Jaxie was asking about a light PPC, a PPC fitted Raven, but I happened to be chatting with him on Discord uh, yesterday, and um, we wound up tweaking that thing, but it turned out he was running four light PPCs on his Raven and was having trouble with heat buildup, especially in close combat, but it's like, you know, the heat seek limit for light PPCs is three, so... <laughs> I, I kind of pointed that out to him. But uh, yeah, we were reworking some designs. It was actually a pretty chill time. But I am still willing to do a PPC themed Raven. If anyone would like to see that one. Remember, I still don't get along with PPCs the best, really. Nothing coming, okay. But that's fine. I mean, when I do request videos, I'm nothing if not open minded. I do try things, sometimes they even work. Are, they all, are all the enemies up there? They might be. Target spotted. No, the enemies... Have, have we got a NASCAR situation? We might have a NASCAR situation. Target sp target spotted. Oh, look, that's an assault, target but that's up on the upper level. Uh, nothing doing. New okay, which is weird. Where are my targets? Where are the things I can go pew pew at? They're all on top. Affirmative. Careful, you almost walked into my barrage there, little ally. And they're holding. Affirmative. Okay, so they're all on top. That's where the, most of them. Are. Well, new target. That guy. Oh. That guy's on top as well, actually, isn't he? Oh, I took a, a glancing here. I'm guessing that was from a, a beam of some kind. Someone hit me in the back. I do not know who. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Of the enemies are eliminated. Who hit me in the back? I have no idea. Ah well, I'll have to go back through um, all the comments and uh, double check on requests because I I feel like I'm some slip of mind, but it's like I am in the middle of a fight, so it's like you know I'm focused on that rather than what my request list is like at the moment. <laughs> Just 
have been very careful because, you know... Oh, something hit me. That was my ally hitting me in the back. Oh, very nice of you, thank you. I'm small, but I'm not that small. Can I get a cheeky shot off through the, through the middle? Do that I can. Fire! Hi! Oh, the circle dropped down. But I actually, you know what I'm, you know what I'm kind of wishing for right now? Stealth armor on this thing. Target acquired. That'd be kind of nice. The enemies are half depleted. Keep pushing. Target What's the range on that? Five seventy-four. I can fire that. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> nope. He knows I'm here now. <laughs> I'm just being very cheeky with this guy. We've almost got them all. Clean up the survivors. Hey, it's fellow Irby. <laughs> oh, little guy. Target acquired. Target spotted. Ah, oh, 680. 720 is a little bit too far for my little mech, but uh, that is the last enemy though. Everyone is just dogpiling on me now. <laughs> Hello there. Target destroyed. Oh, didn't catch up in time. Okay, I've probably done less damage this match. I was hoping to do more, but we didn't find the main fights, sadly. They were all grouped up, so it was too, too dangerous for me to dive in, but 8 assists, 202 dealt. Only 18 taken, but a little bit of team damage there. I think that might have been that light mech that walked in front of my lasers. I'm not too sure. But anyway, not, again, not too bad. A bit less action this time, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Still felt good. Still felt like I was being a little a sneaky little bugger. So, well, let's, uh, let's be honest. I was walking around with a massive missile launch. I wasn't being that sneaky. I guess I feel... I always feel nervous when I'm in a light mech. Probably the lack of armor. Anyway, roll match number three. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems normal. This is command. Eliminate all enemies, no matter the cost. Okay, here we go. Match number three. We are on HPG Manifold. Hi there. Game mode is once again skirmish. So, three skirmishes in a row. The RNG generator is not... Oops. Could I interest you guys in opening a few metal cans? A few what? I... I don't understand what he was saying. Metal cans? <laughs> anyway, um, I did mention back at the start I would talk a little bit about variations possibly for this. So, okay, here we go. I was considering, like, maybe ER meds is more people's taste. I mean, three ER meds is actually a solid backup slash secondary main weapon loadouts. Very nice. Two is still okay. Um, before doing this video, I considered like, you know, doing a variation on it, like um, medium X-pulse lasers. It's like, ooh. Get some toasty energy rack action going on. It's like, hey, it's a fellow fellow Irby. Hi. It's an R80 as well. Oh, R80 is a an en pure energy load, that one. Okay. Target spotted. <laughs> Wait for me, fellow Irby. Where did you go? I don't know where we went. Oh, there he is. I've got three CM and AMS. Oh, he's the guy doing it. And he's carrying a spare fuel tank. No, he's that, uh, that was. That's out of. Oh, no, that's actually kind of in range. You're out of range. Um. Uh, Right. Let's move on for a little bit. So yeah, I was thinking that, but um, there's one big problem with this, and that is the fact that um, this Irby is so focused on its MOM40 that it doesn't have the spare weight to really muck around much. And you don't really want to drop the engine much, because, you know, you need the speed. <laughs> So with that in mind, I think potentially downgrade to an MOM3, then that'll give you some tonnage for additional weaponry. Target spotted. Hi. <laughs> Lasers 
left arm critical damage. Oh, that was a hit on my energy arm, so I'm not too worried about that. Destroyed. There goes two of, two of my weapons. Destroyed. Still got my main gun though, so that's okay. But the, got to remember the big the arm is a massive sitting target. So yeah, that's the thing. Lack of armor. Target spotted. That guy is about to die, I think. Target spotted. Didn't, Delta, Delta. Yeah. didn't quite commit to it, but new target acquired. Oh, I am taking a few hits. Let's double back behind my Atlas. Continue to make myself a deadly annoyance to everyone who gets in my way. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so drop the MM30. Gives you much more options for weaponry. Oh, that Atlas is too brave. Get the heck out of Dodge. What are you? You're an Ebon Jaguar. Can't have you running around in the back line. But I need to be careful because they are taking the middle. Kind of now. So, spin this way. Target acquired. Hi. Oh, your your side torso is open. Target spotted. They're coming from Delta Four. Big turn. Left torso critical damage. Ah, dang right it! There goes my launcher. Destroyed. Kodiak is left torso right crit. Right torso critical damage. M R M Delta, destroyed. Delta. And that was my main damage potential, so that's now gone. Oh well, I'm basically declawed now. Oh, there we go. Someone found me. <laughs> Still did 350 damage, and I absorbed 230. Not too bad. Though in the end, as you can see, I, that was a blast by... M40 destroyed, right arm destroyed. Uh, that, that was a burst from an ERPPC smacking me in the back. Went straight through my rear plating took outside also and dead so that you know XL engine but yeah mm30 might be a good alternative then you can upgrade the laser package but um, this urban mech and actually most urban mechs most of the weapon hard points are in the arms and the right arm especially tends to be quite big and easily damaged all right let's roll back out Take a quick look, I suppose, and see what something like that might look like for an MM30. Now, the MM40, as you saw there, the massive fire engine just goes burnt and missiles go flying everywhere. <laughs> one of the things I like about it, especially in like the um, more vacuum one, because the sound is deeper, maps with an atmosphere doesn't quite sound like that. Okay, Mech Lab, right. Uh, I said 30, so. 40 is 12, a 30 will give us 10 tons and a couple of extra slots. Sorry, 10 tons, 2 tons. And with that, we can very e reasonably upgrade to a couple of ER meds as backup. Fact. No, it's not enough to install like full ferro, but that full ferro is only like 0.2 tons for this weight class anyway. So it's not really worth ferrofibrous unless you've got um, a severe overflow of slots. But uh, yeah, there we go. MM30, treble Yarmed. That would be viable, got an extra half ton. This thing is almost max for armor though, so that would just slap on the legs. That's okay. If we wanted to go X-Pulse... MM30, I'm thinking drop a half ton of ammo. I said drop a half ton of ammo, please. Go on, thank you. Drop a half ton of ammo. And with the, that weight saving, you can fit a pair, I believe, of medium X pulses. Yeah, there goes. so two X pulses, one, one in the arm, one in the torso. Of course, that also sends the um, heat management way down because X pulse. So, standard medium pulse would also be a viable option there if you want to control your heat a bit better. 
1.49 versus 1.08, so you see massive heat boost there, but you do of course lose the range increase from the ER meds over the ER smalls. So yeah, a couple of small variations you could do trying to figure this one out. But uh, I just like the ammo in 40. Because big heavy missile weapon. Ignore the missiles, but um, that's because of the LOM episode where I put um, standard guidance into it. But this configuration is safe with Artemis, so that's all that's happening there. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, there we go. A bit of a fun time. I definitely enjoyed that with my little Irby. So, this has been Mark 3 Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the show of me going around going Burt. First match wound up being my most damaging one. And the others were a bit more average, but uh, I had fun in all three, so I count that as a win. But yeah, um, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps out me, helps out the channel, gives those virtual headpats I oh so crave. And I'll catch you all some of the time. See you all later.